<laughs> Cho go Cho, you know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just. You just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. This is Dave Woods. This is my story from my mouth. Yeah, it, it, it was rough. It was rough, but like I've been through so much in life. I've been through the recession. I've been through the blackout. I've been through the police tearing our stores down, robbing us, you know, every holiday. I've been through family, you know what I'm saying? Destro you know, family um, tearing each other down. Cause like my, my you know, one of my, my youngest brother, my father, my, you know, it's like we've been through so much ups and downs where my, my, my younger brother, that was gonna be the next one up that I was gonna actually put in the forefront of my business. And you know, when our mom passed away, it's just like through the, the guilt and the anger that we was going through, we separated and he started his own business with someone else and it kind of felt like we was Cain and Abel but it was a blessing for, uh, for me. There's someone somewhere watching this right now that want to do what you did. Right. How can you tell them to get to where you at and without all the BS you went through, what, what's all the BS they need to look out for? It comes with the territory. So it's like if you keep your tunnel vision, if you stay with your tunnel vision and just focus on the mission, everything else is going to bounce off because that's what I did, even though I didn't know I should have done that. But I, I stay with that focus on tunnel vision, even through the ups and downs, even when your world is crashing on you. It's like you got to keep that tunnel vision because I've been through a lot. I've been through so much, like even with business and partnership with my father, um, just like his 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 backstory hunted him, even in business where the police, the feds kept constantly tearing our business down because he was a high profile in the drug game. And they, even though he he's, has a business, they still look, look at him as a drug dealer, as a criminal. So we always had run-ins with the police constantly, constantly. Then we had run-ins with people that we supported in the neighborhood that we even paid their bills. We put groceries and food on their table and they still came and tried to rob the store, break in the store. My first robbery was when I was 14 years old and um, I had a shootout inside the store and it was a blessing that no one got hurt, no one got hit. And, um, and it's, it, was, it was from a customer that we actually that needed $50 to take care of whatever he needed to take care of. And we gave it to him and he still came back and tried to rob the store. But like I said, if you can just stay focused on your mission and just believe in yourself and have that faith, you're gonna make it out. And you I didn't even know, I didn't even see this far. You know, when I started my business, I had an acronym for S Boy. It was so brave, original young. It was guys get to me to achieve my success in life. And I stuck with it. I stuck with it. Even when I went back to the store to see where I came from and how I grew, because my business was a closet space. And I grew and I met a lot of people from there. And this is the only business I ever had. This is the only thing, this is the only income I ever had was my business. And I survived and I'm 33 years old now to this day. From 14 to 33, it, it, was, it was amazing, you know, then we birth in Joy Detroit as well, too, in the midst of all that darkness. But the light was the business and the giving back to the community. Yeah, congratulations to Moon, because I thought I was coming to the old place. Right. You know what I'm saying? I see you got a whole lot more space. And, you know, 
you elevated, you know, and I'm proud of you for that, man. Exactly, exactly. I appreciate it. It was a, it was a big stepping stone. Man. So, what's your focus in life and in business? My, f my focus in life right now is to self-love, to heal myself, you know, because I went through a big, major, major deficit. You know, I lost my mom from suicide. And for me doing all the great works in life, like, that was a lot of my motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love my dad. My dad, you know, you, I love him. I love him. I love him. And I appreciate him because I learned a lot from his mistakes. And that's what helped me to become who I am to this day. And like with my mom, my mom, she's my hero because she never did nothing wrong. Like she was a pure angel. I seen her, she never cheated on my father. My dad, he got about 16 kids, he, he done his thing. And she always stood by his side through the ups and downs. She even went to prison for a minute for him. Uh, and she always held him down. Like she loved him with everything, with her whole entire life. They met when they was like 17, 18 years old. They was like Bonnie and Clyde. And it, it was just, she had six beautiful kids and she always treated us equally. And she always been there for us. And when she did lose her, uh, when she ended up taking her life, it crushed me because I was working so hard to be able to provide certain things for her as a son. You know what I mean? Because that's our first queen. That's our first love. So a lot of my motivation was, you know what I'm saying, from my mom. And, um, you know what I'm saying, going through, that, going through that process, I'm in the process of like self-loving myself again. And, you know, going through the healing, through all the ups and downs that we went through in our family. Because people look at us as a uh, perfect family. We always got to keep a smile on our face. But we've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? My dad been through a lot. My brothers and sisters been through a lot. And the reason why I don't fought and hold grudges to no one because we never ask them why. You know what I'm saying? What's their why? What they've been going through. Cause my dad lost his mother when he was 16 years old. Then he had to, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, he had to provide for himself the best possible way he can. And he was hurt. And just to see the, the, the different events that he'd been through in his life, no one asked him why, you know? Then my mom, she like, you know, black women, they so strong, they go through every emotion, every emotion. But at the end of the day, we gonna keep her name alive and I'm gonna better myself for her. And, um, and with business, I'm just gonna share my story, just like how I've been. And anything I can do to better other people's lives and be a blessing to them, we gonna keep thriving. You know what I'm we gonna keep thriving. And like with S-Boy Printing, we're going to turn this into a manufacturer. We're going to keep building big brands, big business. With the nonprofit, we're going to constantly develop programs to give youth and adults opportunity that they never had. So we on the up and up. And, and God is so amazing because even though we set these goals, he got bigger goals for us. And I'm just keeping the faith. I might be, become mayor one day. All my customers, the community always speaking it. I didn't see it, but it might end up happening. Yeah, I, I see it happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I definitely see it happening. And then I ran into Kwame today, and you talking that. Right. So that's, that, that's the energy there. How has the, um, and say your mom's name, so, you know. My, mom, my mom's name is Benita Suzetta Shoemake Woods. All right, rest in peace to your mom. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> my name is Dave Woods. We all have a story to tell, a lesson to learn, and this is my story. We here now. I was pushing the act. Uh -huh. I had no haps if I was pushing the act.